we need to talk about uh, taking the Kodiak into Allison Ranch, whether it's ready or not, whether the, it's too tough of a track for it to get into, or whether this uh, we're, re we're ready to make this decision to uh, let this airplane go and, uh, and perform in the way that it was designed to perform. Um, but now it's reality. It's uh, where the rubber meets the road. What's the length again of the strip, you know? Uh, almost 1,400 feet, 2,200 foot elevation. Although it is short, the condition of the runway is quite good. Uh, good stand of grass, not very rocky, uh, a little bit narrow between the trees. So you've been in there before? I've flown in and out of there with a 170, a Super Cub, and a 185. The 185, I felt real comfortable with that airplane in there, but we were going in relatively light. There has never been an airplane of this size in there. A 206 is the largest airplane that's ever been in there. With uh, the rafting crew, there's quite a load, so we're gonna be coming out of there at almost gross weight. How hard do you have to crank the airplane? The approach is probably the worst approach that I've flown into any strip. At the time you make the decision to go in, uh, you're less than 10 seconds from touchdown. And that is really the first time you see the runway. I, I don't see how you're gonna get much worse. Welcome to the uh, Salmon River, everyone. With this particular location, if for some reason we don't feel comfortable with the day, the rafting crew can either stay, or if it's just something about the conditions that we don't like, then we can uh, have them continue on down the river, and it's a two-day trip on down to Riggins. That's the, the key to the safety here is nothing is mandatory when you start getting into this environment. You're going to be tired, you're going to be freaked out a little bit, and you're going to be cold. Basic commands are all forward, all back, and then we'll have turns, left back, right side back, left side forward. All right, so let's scoot out all the way onto the tubes. As far as you feel comfortable, all forward. So being able to get in and out of there will show us the maneuverability of the aircraft, power of the turbine, the ruggedness of the landing gear, the ability of the construction, uh, all those design points that we put into the aircraft, how they've actually come to be in a real aircraft, and by the time you come out of there you'll have a good sense of whether we've achieved what it is we were planning on achieving from a design standpoint. And Kodiak 490, Kilo Quebec is over the top at Allison and Shandam. Okay, looking for 300 foot pounds of torque. Stop. Coming up on 70 knots. All forward. Hey, the decision's made. When uh, a customer really looks at taking an aircraft someplace into where they want to go and do that safely with their family, uh, this is what we need to do this for in order to be able to look at them with confidence and say this aircraft was designed to be able to do this, was engineered in order to be able to do this, it's been produced with the quality that it needs in order to be able to do this. And it can be flown by somebody that has a real good sense of situational awareness uh, that's generated by the aircraft and visibility. Uh, as long as it's flown safely, it can be flown into this kind of a location uh, with, uh, with relative ease, because that's what it was designed to do. That was part of the whole premise of the airplane, was to be able to uh, go into these strips for, uh, for the backcountry and uh, get, get a lot of people in and out, and that was the intent.
Well, as we're doing with FAA testing and a lot of other kinds of things, you push the plane beyond just the standard limits that you're planning on. You push it to what's called ultimate tests. And uh, I don't think this pushes it to what we would call an ultimate test, but it certainly tests parts of the envelope of performance of the aircraft in such a way that uh, we'll know uh, whether it's going to be able to be used safely by the majority of our customers. Are you ready? Sorry about that, but that place is rough. I think for the company, this is a real milestone in being able to say this can really do what it is we said it can do. And it's not just charts and graphs that a customer can see or um, something that a customer's family can see, but it is the real proof that this is actually, we've actually done it, that it really works, and that we have the confidence to go out and tell someone who's planning on using this aircraft in this kind of a situation that they're going to be safe that they've got the parameters that they need, they've got the control that they need, they've got the machine that they need in order to be able to take them where they want to go.